Hello, welcome in, and welcome to my Fallout 3 tips, tricks, and fun stuff video. Following up from the Fallout New Vegas one, I thought it'd be a good idea to make one of these. We're going to be going through all sorts today, from hidden loot caches all the way up to fun little Easter eggs. I hope you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps out the channel massively, and a huge thank you to everyone who supported me. I am now a YouTube partner. Thank you very, very much. Without further ado, let's get into it. Right, first things first, this is incredibly handy to start you off in this game. Now, Fallout 3 is very, very scarce when it comes to weaponry and ammo in the early stages, but what you can do when you head towards Megaton, which is the first major city you'll come across in Fallout 3, and follow the wall around to the right-hand side, when you go far enough around, you'll notice a rock surrounded by four trees. Now, inside this rock, yes, that's inside because it's hollowed out, is a sniper rifle, among other things. Now, the sniper rifle is one of the best weapons in the game, and you can get it almost straight out of the vault. I highly recommend doing this if you're new to Fallout 3 or starting a new playthrough. Up next is one of the more unique and quirky things you can find out in the wasteland. This is Vault 108, or as I like to call it, the Gary Vault. Now for those of you that don't know, Vault 108 was one of the social experiments that involved cloning. Now one of the original residents, named Gary, cloned himself many many times. If you head towards Vault 108 like you do in the video just here, you'll bump into many 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 vault dwellers, all identical by the name of Gary. Heads up though, they will attack you on site, so you know, deal with that as you can. Up next is another fun and quirky one, maybe not as much as the Gary Vault, but still is really, really cool. If you head towards this area on the map, you will find a crashed alien spaceship. If you head to the front of the spaceship, you will find the alien captain with an alien blaster in his hand, an incredibly effective weapon. However, if you do have the Mothership Zeta add-on, it will teleport you to the Mothership Zeta DLC, so don't visit this one unless you're ready to go. However, it is really, really cool to look at. And also be aware, as this is an unmarked location, it may be harder to find than some of the others in this video. This one is really, really random. You may or may not have known that you can push over Brahmin. If you go into sneak mode like I am here and walk up to a Brahmin and use the interact button, you can push them over, inducing ragdoll physics and some very funny movement. What a strange thing to include in the game, but it's hilarious. Up next is quite a retro nod. For those of you that are hardcore Fallout fans and may have played Fallout 1 and 2, you may have noticed something funny about the tree that you visit after drinking the sap at Oasis. Now this tree reveals his name to be Harold, if you talk to him for a little bit. For those of you that don't know, Harold was an FEV mutant featured in both Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 and has somehow ended up inside a tree and wants you to kill him as part of a quest. Up next is a really, really unique piece of clothing. Now, this is the ghoul mask. It is incredibly cool and provides a really unique side feature. It allows feral ghouls to be permanently friendly to you and your companions whilst you're wearing it. You can only get this if you complete the Tenpenny Tower quest line in favor of Roy Phillips. It is, however, incredibly useful, so it's worth considering. And up next is a nod to the developers of the game itself. If you head to this location on your map, you'll find something called the Bethesda Ruins. Now, this isn't just a cool name. This is actually the name of the development company that makes the Fallout series, or at least has since Fallout 3. There's not a lot here, although there is loads of raiders that you can kill to loot. It's quite a cool area and a cool nod to the developers themselves, honestly. Here's a random one for you. If you head to this unmarked location on your map, you'll find a mole rat racetrack. Now, I assume this was used by raiders of some kind, and it doesn't seem as if any of the mole rats have made it through these races. However, it's a cool little thing you can find under the bridge. This one's a really, really cool find. If you come to this unmarked location on the map, aptly named the Sniper's Nest, and go inside, you'll find not only two rad roaches, which are the only two named rad roaches in the game, you'll also find a locker that has a 100 lockpick required, but when you go in, you will find the weapon called the Victory Rifle. This again is one of the best weapons in the game and is fairly easily achievable if you focus on lockpick.
And finally, my personal favorite Easter egg when it comes to Fallout 3, the hidden scout at Megaton. So for those of you that don't know, Megaton, being the first city that you visit in the game, is home to one of the best Easter eggs in Fallout 3. Now, you may notice there is a guy stood above the main entrance of Megaton that you're not supposed to be able to get to. If, however, like me, you're on PC, you can use no-clip mode and then re-clip in order to put yourself on the ground next to the NPC to talk to them. Not only is this someone you're not supposed to be able to talk to, it's also somebody that has hidden voice lines that you're never supposed to be able to hear. I spend talking to you, the less I'm spending watching for raiders. How the hell did you get up here anyway? I absolutely love the way that Bethesda rewards exploration in this game. And that is your lot, at least for now. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit like and consider subscribing. It helps out the channel massively. And a huge thank you to everybody who has supported me along the way to get my YouTube partner. I was recently approved and I am absolutely over the moon. With this now being achieved, I am looking at pushing on YouTube very, very hard. So you can expect to see more videos in the future. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll catch you again. Peace out.